Jonathan's having a bad day. I mean, he loves architecture and buildings, but he's seen, unfortunately, seen nudity, and that is, like, his greatest fear. Unfortunately, the first gates have opened and the darkness has taken us. We squirm in a vortex of lust, awaiting for the ultimate release. Jonathan hears this in his mind. He's just like, Will you? Oh, I must face my greatest fear. Titties and penis. Oh. And maybe if we're really unlucky. Some vagina. Oh. Damn. It's like Lovecraft's greatest fear. He was a bit squicky on uh, anything sexual. And of course, he was also a massive racist. What a dick. But I don't think Jonathan is. Like the little camera shake of the head there. Oh. happening to me. I need to get a hold of myself. I need to find Amanda. Oh, luckily, someone shut the window for me and removed the dick idol. <laughs> I love the idea of some cultists coming in here going, Someone, we've misplaced the dick idol. Oh, bollocks, I'll go get it. <laughs> oh, there's an unconscious man in here. Oh, don't worry about him. Just bring the dick idol. Oh, okay. And he just wanders out. Hello? Smashing. Once again, I can pick things up to my pleasure. Oh, it's already dark. I don't see anyone watching anymore. Like, seriously, it's freaking dark. Can't see deadly shit. Oh, God, everyone's dead. Seriously, jeez. What? Oh. Oh, someone's taking a bite out of her boob. Ouch. S someone speared that one. There was definitely more people here, though. Excuse me, madam. Do you need any medical assistance? I think she can be alright. I think we just need a bandage. Madam, I think you're going to be okay. Don't worry, I'll get help. Are you okay, madam? Do you need help? Someone appears to have taken a few chomps out of you. I don't think she's okay, though. I'm no doctor, but... I think she's dead. Anyway, magical portal time. Whoop! At this point, Jonathan's just like, you know what? It can't be any worse in here than it is out there. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I'd say he's probably mistaken. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, there's there's phallic shapes everywhere. That's, that's probably not a good thing. You probably noticed this like hyperventilating shimmering. I can't remember if I mentioned it. That's the panic meter. Is this a dream? Everything is cold. And alien. It looks like dicks. But Yeah. Yeah, this, uh, sorry, it's an insanity meter, I think, more than anything. Kind of like Call of Cthulhu. Like, once you get too insane, you get a bit wibbly. I think if you get too insane, you probably snuff it. This looks very fleshy and squishy around here. Don't have any feet, though, which is upsetting. Go on, Johnny, you'll be alright. You've never seen an eldritch alien landscape before. Seriously, what an amateur. This is like my 18th one at this point. I'm an expert at this kind of shit. Nice guy looks nice. Very, uh, very purple. It's got some weird runes on it. Looks spiky. Looks kind of metally, prongy stuff. Like it. Can't take it with me, though. Can't be that important. I'd be generous to say those are tree vines, right? Probably tree vines. Oops, excuse me. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh dear. That looks like uh, some sort of tongue thing. We're going to put in something's mouth. It just looks very Giga-esque, doesn't it, with all the mouths and things? Anyway, boop! Nice. This is where the sort of art design really shines, I think, actually. Uh, because the mansion looked like a mansion, you know, but this alien landscape takes quite the imagination to- Oh god, there's a- there's some sort of giant man with a hu- oh. Oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, oh dear, that's- Oh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh, oh dear. Well, best of luck with that. Probably a tree, it's fine. <laughs> Alright, well. This looks important. Oh, I can take this. Yoink. Oh, was another portal. Oh, is that where I came from? Ah, this is where I started. Right, okay. Uh. 
with egg sacks with holes. Excellent. And a machine. Two slots left. Gross. Alright, well, I guess I need to find... Oh, well, there's one. How tricky. Ah, I see the other one over there. Okay. I mean, if you wanted to found that easily, you might as well just left him in the machine. Just saying. Oh, that is awesome! I love that effect. I, I've seen that. It's, it's in a movie like that, isn't it? I can't. I can't remember off the top of my head what movie that is. Well, this is weird. Well, I'll take it anyway. You like? There's a movie that does that, where they the things retract like in that manner. I don't know. Very cool though. Ah, tis one of them there puzzles. I feel. Let's see. Okay, so there's slots at the back. Uh, I'm gonna have to fill the slots, aren't I? Right, that goes into there, presumably. This one probably needs to go up there, I'd say. Right, that fits. And then this one has to... There we go. That wasn't that bad. Just slot the things into the thing. Oh, that is so smooth! I love smooth door opening animations, that's fantastic. Look at that, it's all disappearing, I like that. Bye. Bye door. Wait, where did the door go? Up there. Hmm. Bye door. Jonathan's disturbed by the uh, thought of the door. That's a, that's a giant lady made out of legs and boobs. It's all getting a bit weird now. Oh, hello, a cultist. Finally, a human. Hello. The secret path, you say? Mask of omniscient? Tell me more. Oh, he's dead. Okay, well. I'm sure we can work out what he means by that. Easy peasy, right? Is this the mask of the omniscient? It looks kind of, uh, gribbly, to say the least. Oh well, put it on. What could possibly go wrong? Ooh! Hint! Prolonged use of the mask can drive you to insanity! Oh, good! Well, I can see easier now. Everything's sort of purpley and I'm... I've been fishbowled. Madam? I can see I can see the uh, spooky lady a bit easier. Nice. Right, I better take the mask off then. I guess I can use that to see secret paths. Like the man said. Cool. Well, I guess it's one of those, if you get stuck or find a dead end, put the mask on. Oh, I will. I will put the mask on. Oh no! It's a bad day to be a cultist. Oh, he seemed to be enjoying himself. At least that's not that bad. Hmm. Well, dead end. Let's try the Mega Mask. Oh, it's no longer a dead end. Sweet. See, I got a hang of this. Very good. Ooh, some sort of red pit of doom. There's lots of things to look at here. It's quite exciting. Oh, oh, oh dear! There's a heavily breathing monster after me. Can we talk about this? Oh dear, that that caught me by surprise. Gave me a bit of the old jump scare there. Well, that's bad. I guess we can't negotiate with things that are, like, basically all claws and heavy breathing. Again, the checkpoints in this game are incredibly generous, so it doesn't really matter. I think the game's far more interesting in showing you an experience. Oh, run away! They're showing you an experience and uh, doing anything else. There's a portal over there. Uh, please don't chase me! Oh, dear. Oh, that's an old, old dear. Someone's being struck. Oh, I want to look at that! I want to look at that! Please leave me alone! Ah, ah. Maybe I'm supposed to stealth past him. Oh well, pegging it worked. Hey, Amanda, is that you? How's things? Good? Amanda, it's you, is Come on, Jonathan, keep up. I just said that. I can't believe it. Honestly. I can't believe what's happening here. Please tell me I've gone insane. It's me, 
But we need to stay calm. Keep it together. Baby, tell me. Why? Why are you here? And why wouldn't you open why the you door? Let anyone know? The cops have been fucking searching for you. Do you understand that? Tell me. I've seen things, Amanda. I've been body kidnapped. parts. You could have escaped. I miss my architecture. And even if they got me first. Yeah, they didn't say they would kill you. I need a set square, Amanda. A set square. Wait, baby. What, what are you? What? That son of a bitch said he would kill the baby, Jonathan. Our boy. Our boy. When they kidnapped me, I was pregnant. I gave birth in this fucking mansion. I, uh, I don't, I don't know. Listen, we don't have much time. That's why I brought you here. The ritual is our best chance of getting our baby back. I cannot do that. I must help Willard all the time. All the time? That's a lot but of time. I managed to get some information. The room with a crown symbol. That's where he keeps him. We'll have to find our son and escape. I'll join you later. Willard, the owner? Ugh. Him? Willard. He was behind all of it? I've got to go. Our baby. In the room with the crown symbol. Remember? I, I remember. Careful. If something happens to you, I'll never be able to forgive myself. Well, I did just die, Amanda. but, you know. Oh, bye, Amanda. The owner of the manor. A man who entered our lives and turned it into something grotesque. I like the idea Johnson just if it narrating him, to himself I here. I have been with Amanda all that time, and I would be a father. I don't really know who Willard Yelverton is. I only know he brings evil, and he has now breathed it into me. I just found out that I have a child. I should be filled with love, but all I feel is pure, growing hatred. Burning inside me delightfully like poison. I think Jonathan's losing his grip on reality a smidge. I approve. That's some impressive, uh... Sanity loss. Our minds create oceans of questions, but soon we shall lie in the lustful God's shadow, and all answers will cease to matter. That's bad. Oh, Magical portal. Also looks a bit, you know, looks a bit, you know what I'm Alright. Look at it from this angle, it looks kind of like sort of a weird animal. It's like a little dog head or something. It's like, woof woof, hello. And you turn it like, oh, it's just a penis lady. It's just a penis lady. Excellent. It's a nice ornament there. Show, show your friends and family when they come around. Two years in music school were a nightmare. Yeah, great time for memories. Seriously? What we got here? Deceased information of a Harriet Yelverton died in 1885. Childbirth. Oh. We saw a Harriet in one of the, uh... Cause of death suicide. Has anyone actually had a decent death here? Let's have a look. Oh, that's a birth certificate. Of Benedict Yelverton. Milton Yelverton. He's lacking adaptation skills to swing low tolerance for stressful situations. Could be talking about Jonathan, to be honest. Hello. This mask must belong to Willard. It's got a creepy tentacle mouth. Don't like it. Ooh, drawers. What's in the drawer? A book. What else would you keep in your work drawers? <laughs> a dildo! Obviously. It's an emergency dildo, just in case. You're like, you know what? Sometimes writing things on my desk is difficult. I better keep one handy. What you got here? Drawers. Books. It's all very exciting. I'm gonna open up all this shit. Oh, hello. Benedict's death. Dear Doreen, I know what you were planning. Our search for the seeing is taking too long, so you are starting to consider me as a sacrifice. This is understandable. However, I shall not allow that. I do not approve of what you are doing, but I also do not intend to fight that. I would like to say goodbye. Do not think of my death as an obstacle. Think of it as the death of your friend that I once was. Shed a tear and say a prayer for my soul. I dare not ask more of you as a friend. Yours, Benedict. So rather than be sacrificed, you killed yourself. Hmm. Alright. Can I see anything with the spooky mask on? No. Doesn't look like it. That was a nudie painting. It's very nice. A lot of names on the back, though. What if these are Kickstarter people? It's pretty interesting. Anyway, moving through the mansion. 
This man's this man really really likes his uh, lewd statues. Oh sorry sorry I'm forgetting a trend. Hold on, let's walk down this. <laughs> oh, fell down the stairs. Right. How big is this goddamn mansion? I kind of want to take a fire like a fire poker with me because I run into anything gribbly. Oh, there's just regular people here now. Hello. Creation is an act of God. Who is God then, if not the creators of this world? Uh. Let us take a look around once again and ask a question. Who creates this world? Who retrieves order from chaos? You have huge hands. Holy shit, look at the size of your hands. Not the same answer. My freaking Donkey Kong. What if what we understand as order is in truth chaos. What if reason is madness, artistic beauty, ugliness, and all creation redundant? Who are we then, if not the source of annihilation? So many questions. I thought questions were irrelevant now. We should get used to the fact that the master's work does not provide answers. There you go. Answer your own question. Answers we find in deeds. And that is why we are all here. Well, best of luck with that. I'm glad you found yourself in the spooky library. Hey, it's home. Hello. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Here's something spooky going on over there. Crown symbol. Ah. This is the room Amanda mentioned. My child really there? This is madness. If they are, I need to look around first. Oh, hey, guys. These events have shown errors in the foundation of our association's general idea. Hey. The change should come. We have all seen that whatever happens to our comrades can be called, well, <laughs> anything but bliss. Human biology is not suited to creatures of Lustigar. Where Willard Yelverton sees change in eternal delight. Lies on a senseless death. Do you realize what you are saying is heresy? You are undermining the very idea of this cult's existence. If you want to die, you're free to do so. But I'm not going to. Instead of looking for paradise, we can create it here. And you know it. We have created it many times. And so many times we have enjoyed its vices. Lustgar is a step further. What you are proposing is a step backwards. This is death. Death in its purest form. There is nothing else there. When Willard gave the child to the land of eternal ecstasy... Wait, that's not good. ...were finally opened, I saw the faces of those who were attacked by the forces of Lustgar. Yes, they have been killed. But right before death, they found absolute... I don't know, I saw a guy with his pecker out just dying. He didn't seem that happy. We can go on like that forever. Let's wait for Willard and see what he has to say. I wonder if he saw that coming. That's what we'll do. But when he's here, don't count on his mercy. Now, didn't like the sound of my child going missing. That could be bad. Oh. It was a kitchen! Very nice. I'm kind of hungry, actually. Hey, it's a pantry. What now? Your moves are so vulgar. <laughs> Leave the I'm guests sorry. alone. <laughs> If you're looking for someone to play with, perhaps I could be of use. Yikes! Guess I need to look for a combination. Okay, the mic combination might be written on the box somewhere. Aha, uh -huh. sure enough. 413. 
Doesn't seem very safe, but whatever. Ugh, oh, goddammit. Uh. Strong magnet. This might be of use. Of all the things, it's the magnet. Alright. The magnet is strong enough to move the lock. Oh. Oh, I see, right. Because they've locked us across. What the hell happened in here? I mean, obviously he'd locked me in there, but... He had enough time, he took his clothes off, ran out here and locked me in. Ah, oh, what a dick. And the other guy's gone now as well. Creepy. Tell me, magical mask. Do I see any secrets? Well, this looks open now. Oh, there's another portal. Well, I need to go in the crown room. I haven't done that, have I? Oh, the crown room's actually locked. Oh, okay. Another portal. I don't know if going in there is a good idea. Well, you know what they say? No, I, don't, I had nothing for that. They, you know what they say? They just find a portal to a weird universe where everything is pretty sexual. Just jump in and you know, see what happens, really. Why you- Hey! That was creepy. I was just admiring. Don't- don't freak out. I hope that thing doesn't chase me, that's kind of spooky looking. Oh jeez. That was actually pretty spooky. Now I'm suspicious about everything. Alright, I'm just gonna leave. That was actually really unnerving. <laughs> then it made a horrible noise and it disappeared. <laughs> Alright. I made it. This should be the baby's room. Where's the baby? The baby, the baby, the baby. The crib is empty. What now? Well, at least the baby looks like it was looked after. Oh. My child. Why is there a scar on its face? What the fuck did they do? Someone wrote a few notes on this piece of paper. I saw a piano in Willard's room. Could this be connected? Probably. Baby block in a drawer. Not sure why. Could go with the rest of them. Hmm. There was a key here. Friggin' naked cultist, dude. Alright, well, thanks for that. Library lady's also gone. Things are getting pretty spooky around here. Well, spookier, perhaps. Since you can play the piano, please don't make me play. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Okay. No kidding. A secret passage in an already spooky mansion. Upsetting thought. Abortion. Eleven months ago. No, oh, this is madness. Whose child did she have then? Abortion by hydrochloric acid. Oh. Evil Lucy. 
か。やいく。And to think she still sees you as her child's father. Yes, you've read that correctly. I scraped it out. Everything connected to you, I have scraped out of Amanda. The child that came to this world is mine, and it is beautiful. The most beautiful. It carries within the essence of Lustgar. The essence of the world, which is about to swallow. Well, that's upsetting. Infinity is a lie. It is an approximation that helps us understand na the nature of universes. Out there, behind the last black sky, swirls the true face of the absolute. Behind it, there is nothing more. So where have we ended up? Obviously back in Lustgar, but... At least I can get eaten while I was unconscious. That's something. Damn it. Willard took my mask off. If I make it out of this world, I must pay attention to the cultists. I need to focus and find Amanda. The child is Willard's, so there's nothing more keeping me here. Escape from the world of Luskar. He didn't take my important mask, at least. Huh, <laughs> what an idiot. So this looks like a locked door. What's over here? Figured as much. That Willard guy looks a bit, you know, weird. Uh oh. Did I ever tell you how much I love mazes? I guess I go around this way. Another one of the I wonder what these things are. So this is where the path split off, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Can't get through these vines. Oh. Oh, fuck. Look it. I guess I'll use this arena to run around him. I've got those faces on the wall. Guess I lost it. That was pretty spooky. Ah, I've got to connect all the pipes up or something, do I? Right, that looks like the correct way from the bottom, I suppose. That looks correct with that. Then that has to connect to where? Oops. Shit, ruined it. Sorry. There. That looks right, so that pipe sort of goes in there. So 
need to find a pipe that connects to the bottom there. And, um, like that, I guess. That already looks right. Aha! Uh -huh. This is not right. That looks right. So that pipe goes connecting through there, and that goes through. Ah, this bit. Aha! Uh -huh. Sweet! I have to find me one magical port, but what's the other way, I wonder? Now, I've done that, but I kind of want to see what was in the other direction where the faces were. Oh, spooky McSpooky guy's not following me anymore. Hey! Oh, just a dead end with one of these. Some sort of spite club. Whoa! <laughs> okay, spooky face. That's upsetting. Just gotta leave now. Bollocks to you. Ooh, I hate when things do that. I don't like when things appear behind me like that. Ugh. Is that thing alive? Oh, it's not moving. One way to find out, I guess. Hey, weird creature, I solved your magical door. What do I get for my reward? Hopefully you not get punched by something. <gasps> I saw that! Prick. Oh dear. Really is an interesting looking place. Guess we need to make our way across. If this is the land of ecstasy then uh I don't know, maybe you guys need better mood lighting. Bye. Should I put my scary mask on? Can I see anything spooky? I guess this just takes me to the other side now. This is nice. Like a red bleeding cup. Thanks, weird spooky red bleeding cup. I appreciate that. <laughs> 